We're drinking beers with uh, the Mad Caddies at Scott Brewing's 20th anniversary festival with Graham and Dustin. Dustin, sorry, I didn't meet you beforehand. No, no, it's fine. Bad form, bad form. I apologize. No, no. no. Uh, what are you drinking right now? What are you sipping on? Uh, right now, I am drinking on the um, Marble Dang Pale. Marble makes some good stuff. Yeah, this is really good. Yeah. What about you? What about you? Uh, you know, I've got a can of the Rudy Session IPA, which has been treating me good most of the day, yeah. representing yeah. the uh, the uh, house here. So, we're, this is your first time in Durango? Yeah. First time. Yep. What brought you here to Durango this weekend? Uh, this party, this Ska Brew 20th anniversary. How come you couldn't make it here sooner? <laughs> Graham, you know, to be honest, uh, coming to this town, we sort of thought the, thought the same thing. It's an awesome town. Yeah. We're right up our alley. Uh, we love Colorado in general, but I've never been down here, and it's a great little town, but just never, never uh, ended up on one of our tour routing. So just stuck to be here now, though. Hopefully it will become a, a thing because of ska. At least a stop, right? Oh, I hope so. So this weekend, there are... Like, how many breweries here? I don't even know, 30? Over 30. Over 30 breweries. Um, what do you guys look for when you're looking for a brewery that you really like? Uh, I, honestly, I mean, I, I'm on it. It's an all-comers meet here. I mean, I, I tell you, you know, there are some breweries that brew traditional styles that we're all familiar with. Uh, I love to judge them based on, you know, the familiarity with that style. And there are other breweries that do some weird stuff that I'm glad to kind of have them expose me to some different uh, flavors that I'm not used to. So, um, uh, but but the number one thing, my kind of my obsession style is Goza, and um, I've had I've had a couple of great ones while I was here in Durango. So, um, that's what, what's your favorite beer been this weekend so far? Ooh, wow! It's rough. It's hard. No, that's really tough. That's really tough. I couldn't answer that question. No, and you know what? I, I would. I guess I would say. Um, okay, the favorite beer was the uh, um, Scott's uh, the, uh, last night. There was a little a little get together, uh, and they had a sour uh, that they did there uh, for the anniversary. I thought that was that, that's definitely the best beer that I've had. I mean, and that was five years in the making, lots of aging, and uh, really nice, rich sour beer that uh, I, yeah, I enjoyed. What about you, Graham? What's, what's, what's your favorite beer been this weekend? Favorite beer overall this weekend? Uh, I, I, I too really liked that 20th anniversary that they poured last night. It was really good. Um, I haven't had it yet. What's wrong with me? You gotta go find it somewhere. I, mean, I think it's here, right? I think it's, it's here. Yeah, yeah, it's gotta be. Just been fucking up uh, and not doing it. And just to keep on the ska train, I mean, this Rudy Session IPA. For instance, yesterday I had one at ten in the morning, and it was brilliant. Uh, nice 4.5 percent alcohol, but good bitterness from the uh, the hops, and this has been a, a good one as well. But we've enjoyed really all of the. We tried to visit every brewery in town yesterday, so I believe we went to. A, we started at Ska, then we hit Carver, and we went to Animus. Um, my, I'm forgetting some Steamworks the night before, the night before we went brew. To and brew. Yeah. 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 So we've hit, we've tried to hit every brewery in this this town, and uh, for a town of less than twenty thousand people, the beer scene is awesome. It's Great beers, incredible. Yeah. And it started with ska. Yeah, exactly. Um, so we're talking about the last beers you've been drinking, your favorite beers. Do you remember your first beer you ever drank? Uh, you know, I I, I, uh, I I believe that when I was a toddler, I would I would take sips of my dad's Coors uh, without him knowing. That was probably the first beer I ever drank. Um, but but for me, it all changed with craft beer. And I'm from the central coast of California. Firestone's a big brewery there. They 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 changed my palate of beer and got me into the craft scene for sure. And and out of college drinking you know shitty kegs so they, they changed the game for me do you remember your first beer i do and before i get there i have to say i favorite beer that i've had in durango i actually it occurred to me we got a sneak peek of the uh the mole milk stout uh here yesterday that is the best beer that I've had in uh, in Durango this trip. But uh, but my first beer, yes, I do remember. And actually, when I was a kid, I was assigned by my parents to take the bags of bottles from the parties. 
down to the garage. Because in Oregon, we have a return, it's like five cents or whatever. Yeah. And so I used to take the bags of bottles down there from the parties and then just take all at like five, take all the ends. Um, and so those were my first beers. But unfortunately, I do believe that my first real full beer as a, like a teenager was, I think it was a Corona. It was either that or a Henry Weinhardt's Dark. I mean, which I, was kind of the thing up there. That's okay. My, my first beer was a cider. Is that a beer? Horn, no. Okay. It's like a liqueur. Um, <laughs> Horn's B cider. Is it now? Is it a beer? Yeah. It's an it, no, but isn't an apple beer? Is that what's considered to be? Yeah. Oh, really? Okay. That's what got yeah. me into it. I was a straight edge kid. And yeah. I got into ciders and then like worked my way top down. Wow. And then here we are today at this, the best brewing uh, festival in, in America. Oh my goodness. Look at those amazing. fucking colors uh, on I mean, the hills with the sun shedding. This is, this is a beautiful place. Quality so, location. So do you guys get to play a lot of beer festivals? No. No, uh, not really. There have oh. been a few, but we, we'd like to play if we more. Could. <laughs> if we could. If we could. This type of gig is right up our alley. We're right. not going to lie. Exactly. Yeah. You guys even have a couple songs about drinking. Uh, uh, yeah. Just a couple. Yeah. You know? it's, it's, and it's, it's a pastime. All The entire catalog was written while drinking. So. <laughs> uh, so, so when you guys are touring, traveling, venturing around the world, what do you guys look for in a uh, local brewery? that really like stands out to you and you're like we're coming back here to Bozeman Montana to visit this little brewery uh, no, it, that's a good question I think between me and Dustin in the last year that we were been touring and supporting the record we visited what is are we close to 70 breweries uh, yeah it's definitely definitely 60 yeah um, so I, I get you know and we've been going this week just because we're here for beer we've been re-going through our list and what stands out uh, unique beers stand out uh, Honestly, good atmospheres and tasting rooms stand out. Uh, if we're tourists going into a town, that, that's actually a big part of it. You know, what's the vibe like in the tasting room? And then, of course, what what's the beer like? So it's, it's really just what, after, you know, the last 16 months, 60 breweries, 70 breweries, what's memorable? Well, and actually, a lot of our memorable ones are in Colorado. <laughs> They're really true. like Denver, between Denver and Fort Collins, some of our best, like Odell and um, Odell and... Great divide, Great divide. Uh, jagged north, yeah. yeah, and of course Scott. Oh, yeah. and, and well, no, I mean, that's the, and that's yeah. the thing is that this is our first time here. We were amazed at the amount of breweries um, yeah. and the quality. It's they've been around for a long time too. I, I remember growing up, I was a Scott kid in the late '90s, and I would go to Yahoo search and be like Scott, and the number one search pick was Scott Brewery. Wow, here that's in Durango, yeah, awesome. here I am. Chatting with one of my favorite ska bands from drinking back in the ska day, beer drinking at ska brewery. At ska brewery, and, it, and it's a weird mind fuck. Um, but you guys have a closer relationship with a brewery of your own, right? Uh, yeah. In our hometown, Figaro Mountain Brewery, uh, we've done yeah. we've done a lot of of, uh, of work with them. And There's a lot of cool videos. Yeah, yeah. We that's that's, that's how I good. found out about Figaro. Cool. Why aren't they here today? Why didn't you bring them? I actually them saw up here? A, a, a Figaro Mountain Brewery uh, uh, hat. Oh really? Today in the crowd. Yeah. I, I don't know why they're not here. There aren't many California breweries here. I think it's Stone and Firestone and, and some other, and those are great breweries. Love them both. Uh, Figs growing. They, they they just started you know four or five years ago and they're still they're coming up. But uh, it's you know it's in with, within walking distance of my house. Uh, they're they're doing well and uh, we're, sure we're to the guy that brings them on tour with you. What's that? You bring them on tour with you? Uh, the beers we bring on yeah. tour, but oh, yeah. in all honesty, I mean, we went to high school with the guys that started it, so it's old school relationships, and you know, we, we like the collaboration between beer and music. There's a lot that you can do, and uh, they they were stoked to help us out, and we were stoked to help them out. It's two local businesses that are doing well working together. Well, that's funny. There's a funny thing that happens where it's like after you've been doing it long enough. The beer people are sometimes more stoked about music, and the music people are more stoked about beer. And, right. and it's actually like a, you know one of the most fun relationships because you know, everybody's uh, everybody gets gets excited about you know whatever the the relationship. Like for us here, you know, we're we're excited to play a show, but it's also yeah so much about beer and our love of it that you know it's unlimited it, it, beer it, it, it works for everybody yeah. yeah 
Uh, what was your? Uh, we already talked about that. What was your favorite beer today? But um, damn, I'm kind of tipsy. As we, it should be. Let, uh, let me focus. Let me run through. When you guys leave here and you go home, what are you going to take with you from this trip? Uh, other than some cool ska brewing merchandise. Um, uh, they have uh, the best merchandise. You know, you know, shit. Yeah, it, it is. It's great. Awesome set, guys. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, no, you're good. Cheers. Things. Awesome set. Thank you. Cheers. No, no, not at all. Making uh, it better. Honestly, just a cool, you know, it's just a great weekend. I know, I mean, none of us had been to Durango before. A lot of us have wives, girlfriends, families, and people are already talking about, God, this is a great place to come back and bring your family. So I think it's been that type of experience for us. Shit, this is a great town, awesome beer, uh, a fun time. Yeah, cool, cool well, place to come back to, really. There's a, the, the, especially the, um, the downtown area. I mean, yeah, it's it's really. Um, <laughs> I mean, every every restaurant seems to be good. Uh, all the breweries that we've tried are. Good. I mean, it's it's one of those places where it doesn't have to be big. It it's all very uh, bar, very thoughtful and. You know, again, like he said, we're all going. Oh, when can we get back to Durango? Yeah, yeah. That doesn't always happen on tour, believe us. Usually, it's when can I get the fuck home. But th this is. Yeah, no. Here we're like, oh, if one more day would be sweet. You know. And so we're here at a music festival mm -hmm. brewery. What would be in the Mad Caddy's beer? Well, we've actually talked about this a lot. Um, how how can we make it happen first? Oh. And then like. Let me go talk to Bill and uh, Thibodeau. Yeah, hey, hey, uh, whenever you like, uh, we're definitely down to talk about that. We've got, I mean, all we need is somebody to say, I've been thinking about messing around with a blank. All I have to go is, uh, you know, I've really been thinking about a, you know, a black lager. Like, boom, cool. Let's, you know, we're just about any style we, we would be uh, excited to be a part of. We're, Again, it's an all-comers meet. We really, we love all beers and uh, everything from the, the hoppy, hoppy IPAs to the crazy sours and weird, you know, Belgian and German styles and whatever. I mean, we're the love of beer. Yeah, I mean, as far as the Caddy's beer, what we do, again, we've been talking about it. And, there, you know, we're a band of seven people, a lot of cooks in the kitchen. So if we're going to try and make a beer to please... Uh, all of us, let alone the people that are going to be drinking it, it's tough. But we're a unique blend of characters, so I think anything that we would come up with would be a uh, uh, be something something oh, yeah. interesting. We awesome. definitely talked about between you know because there are the California elements of the band, and then there's the Oregon element. Doing uh, yeah, doing something that involves ingredients from both places. There's a lot of yeast and hops from Oregon. Be easy. So, so let's let's hurry up and end this because I'm out of beer. You're yeah, out of beer. Yeah, yeah. No, let's do this. We're out of beer. And um, let's make a make a partnership happen. Let's, let's make it. We'll make that happen. What's next for the band? You guys just released a band, uh, album on Fat Records. Yep. Anything coming out soon? What's you know, going we're on? gonna we're gonna actually hopefully our beer is going to be coming out soon and we're going to we're going to chill you know it was a long time this record was a long time coming uh the next one may be a while coming but uh in the meantime we're you know we're we're going to do some fun stuff oh, and, yeah. and definitely i mean beers in there so let's do that okay let's go drink more beers Sounds all right good. Where, where are we headed now um yeah you tell me oh I yeah i don't know your pick your no. Yeah, let's do it. Sky Anniversary Beer and Ratio was really good. Cool. Oh, yeah. Ratio. So, all right, guys. Um, hey, thanks, buddy. I don't know how to end this. Let's look at this and go like, hey, bye.